Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for the Mars Survivalist and in this case we're going to be taking a look at the cheapest reflex site available in Amazon. I leave the links for all of this stuff there below folks in case you're interested. But yeah, this is basically it. This is the unboxing of, of this thing. Well, unboxing kind of, <laughs> this is kind of what you get there, a manual, a little cleaning. Well, you have an, a little wrench here. Um, it, a couple of wrenches actually, so has to adjust the zero on this thing. And a lithium ba battery uses a CR2032, which is nice. This is the same one that I use in my aim point. So that's that's a nice um, thing to have using commonality in, in batteries for these things. But yeah, here it is. You know, in, all, in all its glory, the cheapest re reflex side or red dot that you have. Yeah, it's not the same thing, I know. But the, the cheapest red dot or reflex side that you have available in Amazon. And a lot of people will look, oh, that sucks. It, it doesn't compare to my aim point. Well, of course it doesn't compare to my aim point, which costs 700 bucks. You know, we, we get that. Uh, I have an aim point mounted in, in my M4. That, that's a, a great optic to have. The thing is, the price of that is a little bit with not within the reach of everyone. Same thing with, with an ACOG. These things cost a, thou a, a thousand bucks, which it's fantastic. It is a great optic. It is bulletproof. It has lots of features, but this is something within the budget of a lot of people. Um, and here is where immediately you start thinking of the following. Okay, am I going to be trusting my life? I mean, talking about mounting this in a, in a rifle for home defense or a, or a carbine or whatever you have in mind, am I going to be trusting my life to a 20, 30 buck optic, whatever the price? It, by the way, guys, it goes by different brand names. Basically, these are all the same thing. If you follow the link below, you see that they have actually very good reviews, like 600 reviews and 4.5 stars in Amazon, that is pretty surprising for the price uh, of these things. So, you're going to be trusting your life to the cheapest optic available in Amazon? Well, let me say this. If you only have iron sights, uh, chances are you're going to be using that in low light conditions. And for low light conditions, I'll take every day of the week this over nothing, over just my iron sights, which I'll likely not see all that well. Even if you have a glow in the dark, uh, you know, not glow in the dark, but tritium night sights, like I have in my Glock, it is not nearly as visible as this thing. This is a lot more visible visible and that may make a, a difference. So about trusting your life to 20, 30 buck optic or whatever it is that it's costing right now. Um, let me just say this. Yeah, I understand the, the price. I understand the quality control and such. Now, if I mount this on my rifle or I have, I'm doing this review because I, I already have this exact same one. I've mounted it in my um, semi-automatic 12 gauge shotgun years ago and thousands of rounds later, it is still holding on and still working. That's why I feel comfortable recommending these things. With the, with the, with a couple of caveats in terms of some precautions. My main precaution would be try it, test it, do like I did, put a few hundred rounds, 500 rounds, and once you, once you reach like 500 rounds, even better, uh, a thousand rounds, and it's still holding at zero, and it's still working, okay, at that point, I feel honestly comfortable enough trusting this. One of the criticisms I, I've seen, one of the few criticisms, because there are a few of those one-star uh, reviews, in general, either it's people that didn't understand what they were getting and expecting a lot more for their money, which is kind of ridiculous, but but then some people were saying that this the glass got loose. Now, one of the things I did with the one I have mounted in my in my shotgun was put a couple of drops of crazy glue. You know that little uh, is. Um, Sienna Crulet uh, crazy glue, a little drop, one, a couple, a drop on each corner because this is a little bit more likely to come loose because of the quality control is not going to be saying non-existent but limited. So just reinforce that with a little bit of crazy glue and it is very unlikely to get out of, out of place if you do that, if you take that little precaution, okay? So what you get is just this, and it's actually quite cool. You have a few different reticles to pick. So you have the cross, circle, or dot, and you can change it even. I mean, here you, you have it in, in red, but you can go and you can adjust the brightness. I'm getting it brighter. Uh, and once you go on the other side, you go into the, the green one, okay? My advice would be the following, giving 
my, my experience with these things. I keep in mind again the quality control, the price, the materials used. I wouldn't miss all that much with this. I leave it as it is just in case you just break it or, or mess it up. Just pick pick one you like, maybe the brightest one or the more visible like the, the circle, cross and dot, all the same thing right there and just adjust it right here and you just pick one that you like. So you have both green and red and once you get it in off, in one direction it goes into the brightest mode, so red, the first one will be the brightest one, and you start going down from there, and from the off position in the other direction, you start with green, and then you go up in green. Now green, as you see, it seems to be brighter, I don't know if it's, that it's brighter, or that green is more visible for the human eye, which is in fact a thing, you're gonna be seeing green better than red, that's just the physics of it, uh, but in the other direction you start with the brightest setting, and it, that's maybe what you want to go for, for a, you know, thing that you're keeping for home defense, okay? Now, sure, you want to get, you, you have the money for something better, get yourself a Vortex or a Hollow Sun. I'll leave the links for that there below. You want to get an aim point, again, I leave the link and get yourself an aim point, a Trigicon. What is it that you're paying for between 30 bucks and $1,000? Well, this is made in the United States, it is pretty much bomb proof. You have the fiberglass that is very, very bright. This dot that you're seeing, or this inverted, this V, that you're seeing there, that's not battery operate, that's just the fiber uh, optic that you have here that is so powerful that it just makes this look at like a red dot, like, like a red V. And you know what, the brighter it, one of the complaints with this sort of thing is, oh, it's super bright out there, sunny day, I don't see a thing. That's not gonna be happening with your thousand buck uh, ACOG, because the brighter it is, the more sun this goes, it goes in there, and this is gonna be bright like crazy. It's actually a thing for some people to put a little bit of tape, so as to reduce that brightness, because it's sometimes too much for some folks. The, the, the optic is super clear, very, very visible, and it has a magnification of 2.5, which it can be handy, it does help, and it's really compact. This is from a, a rocket launcher, actually, an N-Law rocket launcher model is TA41, but yeah, it, it is super cool, and it's super clear, the, the image, and the way in which you use this once you're used to it, um, so, so let's say you have this mounted in your carbine um, with both eyes open, if you have the right uh, stance, if you keep the rifle in the right position, with both eyes open looking at the target, you'll see that red V floating on top of the target, okay, and if, if you have a longer shot, you just look through the optic and then you get that magnification. I don't know if you appreciate that. Well, of course, here I'm just too close, but it is super clear and bright and it's beautiful. <laughs> I guess it's worth the money, especially for how rugged it is. And well, this uh, this thing actually has a radioactive um, material inside, which degrades with, with in, in, in time, and it's not very much, not that bright anymore. But if you buy these new, they have a, like a, a tritium material inside. So even in complete darkness, you're going to be seeing this as well. So not depending on the, on the fiber optic there. Man, it, it is great, but this is a lot more uh, within uh, affordable and realistically within the budget of a lot more people. And if I don't have anything, I'll just do that. Again, a couple of dots of, of crazy glue, mount it, give it a try for a few hundred rounds, and if you see it's holding on, then you can trust it and maybe you can um, use it if it ever comes to that. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this little review. I'll leave the links below for this stuff, and of course for my books, which you may wanna get, giving everything going on, get some of those lessons that I'm sure you'll appreciate. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, leave a thumbs up, and share the video with people you may find uh, would be interested in this sort of thing. Take care, see you on the next video, have an awesome day.